We are coming to you live and direct from the fame St. Pete Boxing Club. Tremendous amount of champions have trained and come out of this one gym and we're here today. So come follow me inside and let's see what's going on. What's going on my fellow boxing junkies, addicts and fiends? You know who it is. Your boy, Big Will Steel, doing interviews like only Big Will Steel can. You know what I mean? We are here with world renowned, multiple trainer of the year, Mr. Dan Birmingham. You call me Dan. Dan <laughs> Birmingham. Dan. <laughs> um, he's trained Winky Wright, Jeff Lacey, Bad Chad Dawson, and we're here once again. We're going to interview him. Um, first question I want to ask you um, Kel Brook, who is in the welterweight division, he is moving up two weight classes to fight Triple G. What do you feel about that? I think Triple G would be too strong for it. Must be a good money fight. Triple G is a real deal. Good fighter, great fighter. And what do you feel about welterweights jumping up two weight classes or being called out to jump up two weight classes to fight a bona fide, his weight class, a middleweight like Triple G? I mean, if it's worth the money, go for it. I mean, go up, get that money, and then come back down. That's what I would do. And how do you train, for example, you train the current WBA champion of the world, Keith one time Thurman. Would you advise him if he was to be called out to move up two weight classes to fight a full blown middleweight? It would depend on who it is, how much it is. I mean, what Al Heyman thinks of it. I mean, in the end, Al and Keith will work that out. I'm just a trainer, but if they ask me for advice, I would evaluate everything and try to make an intelligent decision. And how would you motivate? Put uh, a welterweight in the right uh, in the in the right mind frame to move up two weight classes to fight a middleweight. Put them on steroids. We get some Diana Ball, and <laughs> Ball, in it, and make them big and strong. No, I would just uh, I would uh, I would spar with bigger guys so they get used to the power of the bigger guy. Try, try to do it that way. Okay, and so and my, my uh, I have a couple more questions if you don't mind. What can you do? Dan Birmingham motivated, hungry after so much accomplishment, after training future Hall of Famers, uh, multiple world champions. What keeps you motivated? I just love the kids. I love the gym. I love the atmosphere. I love the business. I love everything about it. When you're on top, uh, you want to keep going, keep going, and strive for bigger and better things all the time. Okay. Okay. And um, do you have any current uh, up and coming amateurs that you want to talk about that we need to keep an eye on? Yeah, last show, uh, Mikhail Teal, he's coming, coming around, he's doing it, he and Amy's doing it. Well. We've got a couple of kids that are showing a lot of problems. I just want to thank you for your time, Dan Birmingham. It's an honor. Sidestep Boxing, once again, we are here with world renowned future Hall of Famer, Mr. Dan Birmingham. Dan, who wants to be called Dan? Don't get it mixed up. Dan the man. Dan the man. Dan the man. Keep an eye on him. Wait, anyway, they want to follow you? They want to follow you? Are you on social media? Uh, no, no. I keep a low profile. He keeps a low profile. Don't worry. Follow me. I'll get in contact with him. Whatever he gives me, I'll come back and answer the questions for him. Acting like it. Thank you once again, Sidestep Boxing. Dan, once again, bye, I'm out of here. Do <laughs>